Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this plenary lecture as a part of the Frisk International Interinstitutional Week of Chemical and Material Science. It's a great honor for CIMAB and for our general director, Dr. Leticia Torres, that a very well-known scientist, collaborator, and also a good friend accepted our invitation. Professor Su Wun Lee, thank you very much for being with us today. Professor Lee is international recognized as a leading expert on multifunctional ceramics and photocatalysis. He received his PhD degree in materials engineering from the University of Illinois, Chicago in 18, 1986. After postdoctoral training, he had researched the development of wear maps in advancing the structural ceramics at the National Institute of Standard and Technology, NIST. He then joined Sun Moon University as an assistant professor in 1993 and became a full professor in year 2000. Previously in 1999, Professor Lee was an invited researcher at the Institute of Scientific and Industrial Research within Osaka University in Japan. Professor Lee currently belongs to the Department of Environment and Chemical Engineering at Sun Moon University in South Korea. His current research interests include using microstructure design of CL long ceramics for multifunctional properties such as high thermal conductivity and high transparency. The development of photocatalysts by using nanocrystalline oxide ceramic powders, low friction of graphene coatings, and electroplating of nickel nanoceramic composites. During the years of 2015 and 2016, he was the first vice president of the International Union of Material Research Society. And then from 2017 to 2018, he was the president of this research society. Professor Lee, thank you again for accepting our invitation and let us enjoy your lecture. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate invite me uh, your conference. Uh, my name is Suan Lee at Sunman University of Korea. Also my co-presenters, uh, uh, Professor Pupendra Joshi, also Professor Yoaraj Chatri. Uh, uh, we will talk about uh, transparent uh, luminescence solar concerns concentrate for future green architectures. So I present HEP and Professor Joshi will pre present uh, uh, HEP and then I will make a, a final conclusion. Okay, next. Okay, uh, I'd like to introduce why we are working this LSC uh, Lumis solar concentrate, why we need a very thin filaments. Also, i like to introduce the, uh, what kind of uh, uh, luminophore will be uh, available, so, such as uh, rare uh, materials and, and quantum dot, also organic uh, luminophores for LLC. Uh, uh, finally, we can make uh, some uh, 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 a strategy for the uh, thin film LSC for window and uh, arbitrary surface such as mobile, uh, mobile, mobile automobiles. And finally, I give you the uh, final uh, uh, summary and then we will uh, provide the future perspectives. Uh, when you look at all the buildings, most of the building has shadows and but there are, are Recently, modern uh, architecture has all glasses. So uh, it, all the buildings, they cannot use any is, uh, sunlight, but uh, uh, we can use more sunlight inside the buildings. This is a big difference. Okay, next. So if you have uh, the windows, you have sunlight coming through the window, maybe we have uh, enough uh, visual light for uh, the room. But uh, you have extra uh, ultraviolet uh, uh, light and also uh, infrared or uh, near infrared uh, uh, light coming. So if you convert this UV light, infrared light to uh, uh, here, then we can attach the some uh, uh, 
a photovoltaic solar cell, then we can uh, generate electricity. So we have extra uh, electricity inside the room, so-called uh, green uh, uh, energy, renewable energy. So when you have a large window, you have uh, more electricity. So how this does work? So when the incident light is coming, they, uh, uh, the light can be escaped through out, uh, return back to the uh, outside, also some light to pass uh, through the uh, 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 material. A majority of uh, light had an uh, internal reflection and go to the edge part of this uh, materials. Then we attached some uh, uh, solar cell, uh, such as a silicon based solar cell or some uh, CIGS solar cell, whatever. Uh, uh, high efficient solar cell we can attach the, then we have the uh, uh, powers. This, this is a system. So uh, luminescence solar concentrate, so-called LSC is well known as the next uh, generation of a photovoltaic solar cell with a low cost for installed capacity. So LSC used the luminophore such as organic dyes, quantum dot, and then down and up conversion, down conversion as well as up conversion materials such as uh, uh, lanthanide uh, rare materials to observe directly and uh, diffuse the light with the emission uh, uh, matching with H solar cell on the edge. This is a solar cell on the edge part. So the first uh, 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 LSC was uh, reported in uh, uh, 1976 in for the company researchers. Uh, they are Webb and the Lambert in, in Dearborn in the uh, Michigan in America. They in, introduced some uh, uh, LSC uh, system here. Next. In the, uh, uh, 2008, uh, and there is uh, uh, some uh, publication, uh, high efficiency of uh, uh, LSC, such as 7.1 power conversion efficiency. When you look at the uh, 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 photovoltaic solar cell, the maybe they have a uh, uh, power conversion efficiency such as uh, 35 or 36%. Uh, the different types of silicon based material. But LS is still is uh, 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 lower than uh, uh, photovoltaic materials. And anyway, in 1981, in, in Freiburg in Germany, one student also published uh, 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 many works and uh, in his thesis, PhD thesis. So we can see the uh, LSC uh, researchers. When you uh, look at the photovoltaic uh, 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 as well as uh, uh, building integrate, so-called building integrate uh, photovoltaic BIPV global market. So uh, this LSC is also next generation of the uh, photovoltaic PV system. So when you look at this uh, 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 figures, global uh, photovoltaic market for windows and the non-window uh, so probably uh, uh, window is also growing uh, area. Uh, also the looping is also growing very well as well as also walling. So we can use this kind of uh, LSE material on the glasses and also the uh, looping. Also we can uh, attach the walls. So when you look at the global market for the VIPV for glass, walling and looping will be around 7 billion US dollars into 2026. Recently, the market is around $2 billion US dollars. Uh, USA and uh, Asia Pacific and Europe are expect to be the leading region for growing VIPV market. Percent share of global BIPV market is estimated to be 40% in Europe, 28% Asia, and 16% in USA. But we don't know the exact number in the Mexico or Latino America. 
hopefully we have a more research and more uh, market in the Mexico and uh, Latin America in near futures. So LSE's future market, I mentioned already, uh, 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 this kind of building uh, windows also available. Also, we have a, a transportation automobile or a tray uh, or aerospace or a satellite also possible. Uh, also ship is also in, important area. Also, when you use the, uh, 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 this kind of LSC material on the looping, this also a very nice uh, uh, area. So we have 28% of market on the uh, looping. Also, uh, Wally and others. This is a future market of LSC different sectors. So LSCs are consist to be third generation of PIPB, building into a portable day. The, the fabrication method is easy and much cheaper than other PV systems. So future VIPV, which is much green technology, is LSC. So LSC is uh, like a green technology, green architectures. Okay, next. So we have a very good uh, advantage over this LSC uh, compared to photovoltaic particularly easy to fabricate the cost effective. Also, a uh, large area module is uh, uh, possible. We do not need to track to sun to obtain high concentrate spectres. Or uh, colorless uh, uh, LSCs are reported. So LSC does not require the cooling system. This is very important. Also, the host materials mainly polymer-based PMMA as well as glass materials. Those quantum dot-based LSCRs are semi-transparent to transparent with highly optical efficiency applicable to various surfaces. So rare stuff LSC shows less reabsorption. This is very important issues. However, we have also uh, uh, disadvantage of LSC, particularly uh, uh, lower power conversion efficiency as compared to PV. I already mentioned uh, photovoltaic, such as uh, uh, silicon-based uh, material, uh, P, uh, power conversion efficiency, uh, maybe uh, around uh, 35 or 36 percent. But our uh, uh, current uh, 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 power conversion efficiency of uh, LSC is uh, roughly 7.1. But if you have uh, more than 10% of uh, uh, power conversion efficiency of LSC, then our target for our research. Also, uh, therefore, uh, this LSC is not commercialized yet because due to the, the lower power conversion efficiency, such as a seven point or something. So the absorption problem of the, so particularly the organic uh, dye is a main, main, mainly in the absorption problem. Also, uh, uh, where uh, another issue is we should match with the uh, other uh, PB. Colorless LSC have a low optical efficiency due to, to their absorption only in UV and then IR, near IR spectrum. Dye LSCs is organic dyes are uh, vulnerable to UV uh, light, so uh, maybe degraded due to the uh, UV light. Also, PMMA are difficult to dis dispose for after use, but it's a long-term system. Most of quantum data are PB and uh, uh, cadmium. This is a very harmful and hazardous material. We should replace the uh, lead or uh, cadmium in the future. Particularly, we should to make a uh, ferroviscite structures. But uh, ferroviscite quantum does still have a stability problem, but uh, we can solve this stability problem uh, near soon by the many, many uh, researchers. Also, sharp emission of a uh, cation shows a low efficiency. 
So we should solve this uh, uh, sharp emissions or uh, uh, layers. Next. So we look at the, uh, how many publication uh, during the uh, uh, around the, uh, uh, 13 years. So this is reported in 2019. Starting 2007, the majority of publication is is uh, uh, for the uh, uh, from the dyes. So they use the organic dyes. Also, quantum dot is also uh, important. Uh, publications. So they use uh, PB or cadmium or other uh, hazardous uh, quantum dot. But recently, and then they used the carbon quantum dot. So this will be very uh, a promising material. Also, uh, there's uh, uh, element like lanthanide material, so very important. So our uh, last two years, 2020 and 2020, we checked uh, uh, various uh, journals like uh, the LCB and uh, RSA and other journals, almost 120 publications we analyzed uh, 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 these two years. Uh, the, uh, still, uh, uh, organic dye is uh, dominant uh, 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 materials, also some quantum dot and then a uh, carbon quantum dot. Also, we have uh, some perovskite materials. Is uh, in near futures we have uh, more uh, materials, uh, uh, carbon quantum dot, and then various materials. Okay, this is uh, important data of the efficiency of power conversion efficiency of LSC. And when you look at the, uh, this material tandem. Uh, dye base is a PC, uh, PC is a 7.1%, but other uh, uh, system is uh, around 2.87%. So this is our uh, 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 barrier of the uh, commercialization uh, so far. So if we improve more than uh, 10%, so this kind of LSC will be commercialized. So many, many researchers are working on this material to improve the efficiency of the uh, PCE, power conversion efficiency. So why we need a, a transparent LSC, so-called TLSC? Because it's more convenient uh, to make a, a, a also a thin film allowed uh, for flexible choice of substrate. So we can also reduce loss by reabsorption, and the transparency of LSC polymer enable mounting LSC enhanced photovoltaic voltaic cell into the windows of the surface without degrading the aesthetic values such as of automobiles. Well, here is a three uh, different types of uh, transparent uh, photovoltaic. Uh, one typical is up organic photovoltaic and then uh, uh, dye-sensitive solar uh, uh, cells also uh, uh, is available. Also organic luminal fossil so, uh, such, such as CUI or HITCI LSC. So when you look at the silver nanowire and ITO particle uh, in uh, DSC, there is a pieces of four point and average uh, visual light transmit through this material 64.4%. So if you have high PCE, high power component efficiency, you lose a transmittance of a visual light. So uh, this is a typical case. So you have a, a, a lower power uh, uh, component efficiency, but you have, you have a, high uh, visual, average vi uh, visual light transmitters like 88.3%. So we should uh, 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 control these two parameters. But uh, we, our target is improved uh, uh, both of a PCE as you, uh, and the ABT. So where we use, where we utilize this LRC, uh, many people already using in the, uh, uh, windows of buildings. Also, we can 
uh, uh, put the, this LSC materials on the uh, greenhouse for agriculture. Also, we can uh, uh, using the roof of a parking lot. Also, uh, we can uh, using the sound barrier uh, uh, walls on the highway or uh, any street. So this is a huge area on the uh, in, as highway or street, uh, each country. So this kind of uh, application is a very, very promising for LSC. So transparent LSC, we have uh, 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 two types. One is a chromophore, or we can say luminophore, same word. Also how we can design the LSC system. That is a device system. It's also very important. So investigation of a chromophore concerning with the design spectral uh, coverage, or also large stroke shifter with uh, almost no absorption, which means excitation and emission is not overlapped. Also, we can use uh, ultraviolet light and the uh, near infrared light for absorption with an uh, near infrared emission. So no interference with the visual light. So that therefore we have uh, uh, three different uh, chromophore we, we, which we present uh, uh, that, uh, by the Professor Joshi later on. Okay, here is a, a rare uh, base uh, chromophore and antaride material cases. But particularly tulium and aluminum, holium and uh, europium is a, a major uh, uh, element for LSC. So here is the absorption of uh, tulium cases, uh, particularly calcium iodide is doped with the uh, tulium and the uh, uh, 60 percent of material here uh, uh, um, uh, absorption and then uh, 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 this uh, uh, near uh, infrared uh, peaks is uh, excitation. So there is a no overhead so-called peak uh, stroke uh, shifters. But however, organic material like red three or five dyes, there is uh, overlap here. So also uh, this kind of cadmium selenide uh, perverse uh, uh, quantum are also overlap. So we should uh, 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 separate uh, absorption and uh, 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 emissions. So uh, 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 Professor uh, Yuaraz, uh, 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 he did a lot of works this kind of uh, thorium doped silo material, uh, thorium uh, and uh, erbium uh, doped, co doped material, or uh, uh, thorium and uh, erbium uh, co doped material, as well as three different uh, triple uh, uh, but, uh, material doped into the silos. Okay, this is a typical uh, uh, TM uh, uh, microstructure of uh, thorium of the silo material. And here is one grain, another grain. We look at the, uh, the EDX analysis. So most of the tulium is existing on, on, on the grain as well as the grain boundary uniformly. Okay, here is uh, tulium and the aluminum, uh, aluminum with the co -dope. and the grain, one grain, another grain, also a, a triple junction here. And when you look at the, this all the uh, uh, EDX analysis. So these are uh, tulium and urban exist in the on the grain and uh, each, each grain as well as uh, uh, a triple junction uniformly. Okay. So well, this is a uh, 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 TM a uh, high resolution TM image of uh, uh, tulium. So when you look at the uh, grain boundary amorphous phases, uh, the, the layers looks like 1.4 nanometers. But uh, at the 2.1 plane, highly crystallinity of these uh, uh, materials. Uh, similarly, we, we have uh, 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 thorium and, uh, uh, and aluminum is co doped into the Cylon. Uh, so similar to the uh, previous uh, data, we have uh, uh, even the uh, 1.1 uh, nanometer of the amorphous phases. 
highly crystallinity of the one 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 zero plane of this uh, code of the materials. So we double checked by the X-ray diffraction pattern. So when you look when you look at the transmitters of these materials uh, uh, around the one thousand to the four thousand, uh, uh, this is kind of uh, infrared uh, uh, ranges. So every percent transmit transmitters in infrared uh, red ranges, but the uh, the, uh, the lower than uh, infrared visual light is transmit this is a little lower. But the, the absorption is all, always a decrease. This is a very important issue. So we don't have uh, much absorption of the uh, UV or uh, visual light. Okay, so this is our equipment, our laboratory. We have a, a magnetron sputtering material. We uh, make uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, thulium uh, and cold dot material as a target material. So we make a target for uh, magnetic sputtering. We coated uh, uh, the, uh, this uh, silon material on the glass. So we, this is data. We look at the glass substrate. Also, we look at the, the uh, sputtered uh, 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 the glass. So we still we have a good uh, transmitters of the sputtering. Uh, when you look at the uh, 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 absorption uh, spectra and uh, emission spectra, uh, uh, not much overlap. This is very important for LSC. Even we, we have a uh, uh, thulium cylon or uh, thulium aluminum cylon, thulium holium cylon, all uh, this kind of doping material uh, uh, very good in intensity of, uh, uh, of the uh, 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 absorption and excitations. Okay, this is a uh, typical uh, optical property of thulium three plus silon ceramics for uh, 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 finally potential for the LSC applications. So uh, even uh, 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 UV area, we, we have some absorption, but the visual light range not so big absorption. Uh, as also uh, uh, infrared, uh, not much absorption. So uh, the absorption is decreased and decreased. Also, we have a big uh, 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 stroke uh, shifters in these cases, absorption peak and uh, emission peaks. Even uh, 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 thorium and aluminum uh, adopt a, a silent material also uh, uh, thorium single uh, uh, both the uh, silon material. Similarly, also we have uh, uh, another uh, uh, thulium holium uh, uh, both the uh, code of the silon material. Very, 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 very good. Uh, 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 the uh, big shift, uh, stroke shift. Okay, this is a uh, uh, photo uh, photoluminescence uh, spectra of uh, uh, thulium, uh, holium, and aluminum. Uh, doft uh, silon material. So similarly, uh, we have uh, some uh, excitation and then emission peaks is completely uh, se separate. So when you com uh, uh, make comparison, uh, uh, our material with the uh, other uh, uh, material like uh, cadmium, uh, calcium iodide uh, doped with the thulium, uh, similarly, but we have a much, much better than this material. But the red uh, 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 three or five organic dyes, uh, uh, they overlap even uh, cadmium selenide. So this is very potential uh, materials. So uh, chromophores for the LSC, we have uh, uh, two types, quantum dot and also organic chromophore. Uh, Professor Joshi will present these uh, uh, issues. Thank you, Professor Lee, for providing this opportunity to present this lecture. So, already Professor uh, Lee discussed about rare earth oxide rare earth uh, luminophores in Cylon. So, here we'll discuss uh, uh, for, um, 
quantum dots and organic chromophores. Actually, quantum dots attracted tremendous attention and found promising application in many fields, including biomedical, energy, and optoelectronic devices. Also, the important characteristics of uh, quantum dots is, is spectral tunability, whereby the absorption of and emission characteristics of quantum dots are controlled by altering the quantum dot diameter. So these quantum dots, uh, if we want to have a very good LSC with high efficiency, uh, these quantum dots, uh, the emissions should match with the NIR harvesting polymer. So optimizing the quantum dots amount in polymer matrix is also important. So uh, if we uh, optimize the quantum dots amount, uh, concentration actually, so we don't lose uh, the average visual transmission. If higher amount is added, then we'll lose the average visual transmission. Another one is the organic chromophores. So uh, we'll use the uh, existing organic chromophores, which have absorption in UV and NI region and emission in NI region. So if you combine the, both these quantum dots and organic chromophores, uh, like tandem or hybrid system, then we can increase the efficiency of our uh, transparent LSCs. So out of uh, quantum dot, uh, uh, we'll discuss about perovskite quantum dots. So nowadays, perovskite quantum dots uh, has, uh, be, uh, have been resourced by many researchers around the world. So most of the perovskite quantum dots are lead and cadmium based. And these lead and cadmiums are considered to be hazardous. So if we replace this uh, lead and cadmium by some green materials like tea, so we can have some green uh, perovskite materials, which will be clean and uh, for also environmental friendly. The tin based perovskite material shows similar properties with PV and cadmium based, but considered unstable for long-term use. So most of these uh, organic, inorganic, uh, tin-based perovskite uh, nanomaterials uh, were studied for perovskite solar cell and are not studied for LSCs. So we want to use this uh, tin-based perovskite material for LSC. Until now, uh, there is no, uh, until now, there is no report on this uh, team-based perovskite for LSC. In LSC, luminescence property is uh, property is focus. So we don't need any electron transfer from uh, like in uh, uh, perovskite uh, solar cells. But in LSC, we are focused on luminescence property only. For LSC, the in-situ fabrication of perovskite quantum dots in polymer matrix in inert conditions. Therefore, humidity does not play any role and stability, there will be no uh, uh, problem for the stability. Thus, the organic inorganic team based hybrid perovskite quantum dots can be utilized in LSC. So here, the perovskite quantum dots have no long history, but rapid development in synthesis and luminescence pro properties. Here we can see uh, the perovskite quantum dots are fabricated by different methods like aggregation induced emission, heart injection, ion exchange, reprecipitation, supersaturated recrystallization, solvothermal synthesis, non template synthesis. And these are applied in different fields like display technology or quantum LEDs, also in perovskite solar cells. So as we know, uh, most of the perovskite quantum dots are based on uh, lead and cadmium. So uh, there are few uh, materials without uh, PV and CD. Here are the, some lists. So most of them are uh, most of them containing cesium. And uh, here we have methyl amine uh, tin halide material, which has uh, emissions around from 
50 to 1000 nanometers. So uh, it will match the absorption of silicon solar cell. So this material can be considered uh, for future LSC. Similarly, another material is like cesium, tin, germanium, iodide. So here, why we consider this methyl amine uh, tin halide material for a future LSC? It has some characteristic features. So like if we change the ratio of um, iodine to bromine concentration, so we can have uh, different uh, emissions in NIR. Higher iodine cons concentration shows around nine uh, around uh, thousand uh, nanometers, while uh, with higher bromine concentration, it shows around seven hundred fifty nanometers emissions. So we can tune the uh, emissions with different uh, concentration of iodine and bromine in this perovskite material. So another chromophore uh, is organic chromophore that can be used uh, with uh, quantum dots as a hybrid or a, um, tandem based. So here is TTM. It can be used as a hybrid, uh, as a, a composite with perovskite quantum dot. Uh, this TTM is known as TIS246 trichlorophenyl methyl, and it has uh, cash characteristic uh, absorption in UV region and uh, emission uh, in visible to uh, NIR region. So higher concentration around 50% can show uh, NIR emissions. So uh, it can be compatible with uh, perovskite quantum dots. And another organic chromophore is CY and HITCI. So it is NIR absorbing and NIR emitting. However, the stock shift is uh, very small in, for this material, but it can utilize the wastage uh, NIR in the LSCs to increase the efficiency of uh, LSC. So another component uh, for LSC is uh, low refractive index polymer. So if we put this low refractive index polymer on the bottom of the LSC, we can uh, increase the total internal reflections within the waveguide and we can increase the efficiency. There are some uh, low refractive index mat uh, material based on methacrylate, and these are uh, below 1.5 uh, refractive index. So we can use these materials. So worldwide, many researchers are working on different chromophores, and some of the main researchers are from Canada, INRS, and Italy groups. And they fabricate like a quantum dot based on lead and cadmium. So their efficiency is quite low, 1.2% optical efficiency. And this is from Italy group, uh, cadmium selenide and cadmium sulfide. This efficiency is 0.6. And the INRS from Canada group, they fabricate the uh, giant quantum dots uh, based on cadmium sel selenide and cadmium uh, lead sulfide, whose efficiency is 1.5. And another is Q, uh, lead uh, sulfide quantum dots. Uh, they were fabricated by University of California. California, USA, and its efficiency is 1.1. Here, uh, the quantum dot fabricated by uh, Chinese group from Wuhan University of Technology, they uh, fabricated nitrogen dot carbon uh, quantum dots. And uh, their efficiency is quite high compared to other reported quantum dots is around 4.75. However, their absorption and emission uh, lies in visible regions. Maybe uh, it will not give the transparency in the material. So another is uh, copper indium selenide sulfide quantum dots from Italian group again. They fabricated some uh, semi-transparent uh, LSC. So 
So it has quite a good efficiency as compared to the other uh, lead and cadmium based uh, quantum dots around 3.27. Another is uh, European based bridge silicosins, uh, which were fa fabricated by Portugal groups. And it has quite low uh, optical efficiency because the European, uh, they have very narrow uh, emissions. So narrow emissions may cause low uh, efficiency. And this one is CY and HITCI, uh, organic LSCs were fabricated by uh, Michigan State University, USA. And it, it is highly transparent around 88%. Uh, uh, but the efficiency is quite low, 1.5%. And again, uh, uh, the Canadian group, they uh, fabricated the three types of uh, uh, quantum dots, uh, LSCs, carbon quantum dots and uh, chlor chlorine bromine and uh, chlorine iodide containing uh, LSCs. So it's efficiency, when they combine all this as a tandem, they have efficiency around 3.05. So the efficiency of different uh, LSCs synthesized by Italian group. Here we can see, not only this uh, luminophore, but there are other components that uh, can uh, increase the efficiency of LSCs, like coating with some back reflector. This is uh, aluminum coated SiO2, and this is without uh, reflector. So here we can see around 4% uh, efficiency with uh, re back reflector, and without back reflector, 2.85. And there are other uh, also other uh, reflector also like the commercial for prospects, they also increase the uh, efficiency. So there we have no, ex until now there is no standard for this uh, LSCs. So here we uh, have some internal photon efficiency, external photon efficiency and device efficiency. So uh, if we use the similar uh, device, uh, having same dimensions like 50 into 50 mm square and five mm, maybe it will be ideal. So we can compare with others uh, material. And uh, if we use for device efficiency, if we use like one son means uh, 100 uh, milliwatt per centimeter square irradiation, light irradiation. And uh, this should be cons consistency with uh, every researchers, then we can compare. So this is some graphical representation of uh, different uh, efficiency. So if we have integrated spheres and incident photons, and we can measure uh, the internal and external efficiency of this LSCs. And if we have uh, some PV cell attached to the side, we can uh, measure uh, the uh, power conversion efficiencies or device efficiency. Here, there is some strategies. So uh, the first uh, generation is organic dye, and second generation is quantum dot, and third generation is like transparent color, less LSCs. Uh, so it's transparent LSCs. And fourth generation that we have proposed. Here we propose the tandem based with quantum dot and some organic NR absorbing films, as well as we also propose some lanthanide dot uh, silent films on a glass. And uh, even we uh, combine both of these, like uh, LN dot silent film on the polymer to increase the efficiency uh, above 10%. So here is the goal. Our goal is to increase the power conversion efficiency above uh, 10% using various methods, like uh, uh, even using uh, back reflectors. So if we have trans average visual trans uh, currency above 80%, then we can use in both in Windows and non-Windows. And this is the film-based uh, LSCs. So we can easily uh, use in any surface. So how to increase the efficiency of LSC? So first of all, fabricating highly efficient luminescence center. Luminescence center means like promo force. They are important. We should have above 90% quantum yield, then it will be better. Uh, and also emissions should match the absorption 
of PV attached to edges. UV absorption and NIR emission will give higher average visible transmission in LSCs. So if we have large stock shift, then we can reduce the reabsorption and increase the efficiency in LSCs. And another is de device design. Fabrication of transparent polymer film embedded with chromophores and optimizing the concentration of chromophores and thickness of films to get transparency in the LSCs. And tandem based LSCs with lanthanides, quantum dots, and organic chromophores to increase the efficiency. A low refractive index polymer coating for extracting maximum light through total internal reflection to edges. And also we have to find the suitable solar cells to the edges. So another is Monte Carlo ray, uh, trace modeling. It is also important. So uh, this we can know the, from this ray tracing is used to determine the photon count, optical efficiency and the output spectrum obtained at the PV cells for LSCs. So how to increase, enhance the optical efficiency here? This is a simple uh, PMMA or organic polymer with quantum dots. Quantum dots uh, in PMMA increase the uh, refractive index and the escape cone. This is the escape cone, which will be large and it's, the light will escape from this escape cone. If we have like tandem based with organic uh, uh, NR absorbing film without uh, quantum dots, then this is uh, uh, as compared to the top one, the bottom has Low, uh, less uh, low refractive index material. So the escape cone will be less and more to total internal reflection will occur and the light will propagate to the edges. So we can increase, for example, if we have like 6%, then we can have around 8%. Even if we have like low refractive index uh, polymer coated on the bottom, then it will also decrease the uh, escape cone. So we can increase the efficiency around 10 to 12 percent, even with uh, lanthanide dot silent films. So, how to enhance the PCE means power conversion efficiency in LSC. So, suitable PV should be attached to the edges, which matches the emission from luminescent centers. The uses of back reflector enhance the PC. Back reflectors such as uh, zinc oxide, silver, aluminium, titania can be used. The use of back reflector mirrors reduce the number of PV stripes and it will be cost effective also. Uh, the back side reflector films can increase 40 to 60% power output than without reflectors. And uh, Professor Lee will conclude this uh, lecture. Thank you, Professor Lee. Well, when you have a, a transparent uh, photovoltaic solar cell is very good. But uh, uh, currently, most of uh, photovoltaic material is uh, non-transparent. So the, the uh, sunlight cannot uh, pass through the uh, solar cell. So our target is we can use uh, windows and we pass uh, visual light through the window. And also we can uh, generate uh, clean uh, energy, harvest the green energy, such as uh, electricity using the uh, UV light or infrared uh, IR uh, red. So this aluminophore uh, uh, or chromophore material. So I like to uh, make a, a summary of our works, the proposal research target, uh, the development efficient uh, thin film transparent luminous uh, uh, luminescent solar concentrate, so-called TLSC, and also develop the thin film technology to harvest the solar energy with a uh, cost-effective way. If we can use automobiles or our buildings or our trains or the uh, uh, transportation, the aim of this proposal to develop commercially high spectral ratio film with high power of uh, conversion efficiency more than 10%. So, so far we have uh, around 7% of our uh, proposal is almost 10% uh, uh, in the future. That, that can be commercialized. Uh, uh, the, but however, the uh, uh, photovoltaic like uh, silicon is more than 
35% of uh, uh, power conversion efficiency. The, the uh, uh, transpender LSC filler will be protect the people inside the buildings or automobiles by the absorbing harmful UV light. This is very important. Also, another issue is of this LSC, we have a different uh, functions. If you have a coating uh, outside of our glasses using the uh, titania or other photocatalysts, we make a self cleaning uh, function. Also, we can attach some other electronic uh, chromatic uh, materials. We have a uh, self, uh, 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 we can control the uh, infrared. Uh, in the winter time, we can pass the infrared for uh, the warming uh, room. But if you have uh, the uh, uh, summer, uh, summer time case, we, we can cut the infrared into the, the room. So there is another uh, function. So this LSC material is very promising in material near futures. So uh, if you have any question and comment, we I'd like to answer to you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor So Lee. Very interesting talking. Now, uh, I would like to know if there is any questions, please. Well, I have received yes. one question. Uh, why lead? Uh, is a good element to keep doing research despite it's a toxic element. Well, uh, 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 many people uh, use the uh, PB uh, base material. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, lead, PB, and the uh, is a hazard material. So therefore, we have the uh, very uh, Good material, green material like a carbon material is a, 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 a good candidate for the future. Also, our uh, uh, previous researchers like uh, lanthanide material, silo doft into the silon, that, that is a wonderful material also for very good uh, environment friendly material. And, and maybe good pair of sky material is also uh, possible. But finally, we can the organic the chromophore is uh, uh, highly transparent. If we have a good uh, uh, power conversion efficiency, that is a uh, wonderful uh, candidate for this LSC. Okay. I can, so, sorry, Alfredo, I can read one question yes. from, the, from the audience. Okay. And they say, they say, thank you very much for uh, such a uh, great talk. On slide 14, you show the use of these solar concentrators, the possible use of these solar concentrators as roofs of parking lots. Could it be, yes. could it be possible to use this roof part of a parking lot to charge electric cars? Oh, sure, sure. Even we can uh, put the uh, LSC on the uh, roof and then even uh, windows, uh, front window or back uh, window, uh, 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 side window, we can uh, 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 harvest the electricity for the electric car. That, that is uh, our uh, final goals of uh, electric vehicle uh, cases. Thank you, Professor. So another... Currently, normally they use the solar cell on the only top of the roof, but we can use windows and, uh, and sides and, and uh, bumpers. So, Many, many, any place on, on the automobile we can use while we are uh, working for thin film materials to attach on the uh, roof and the side, as well as glasses. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. There is another related question. Uh, uh, it's uh, slide 41. Um, Using your proposed, if, if they ask if by using your proposed system, you can have enough energy to power an electric car or, for example, a hybrid car. Yes, uh, uh, th this is a, a typical case when you look at the, uh, th this photo. 
we can uh, uh, harvest the, uh, through the window. Also, we can harvest the, the side of the uh, cars, okay? Uh, then there is a, a very important issue. We should attach the thin film here. Then we can access the, the electricity. But the problem is the power combustion efficiency. Uh, currently, uh, the highest number is like uh, uh, around uh, 7.1, uh, but our, our uh, proposal like uh, more than 10%. So uh, when you develop the, another material, hopefully more than 12%, about 10%. So we, th this kind of material can be commercialized. So that, that is what uh, you want to do. Thank you, Professor. Um, yeah, I think those, those are all the questions in the- Well, well I have that. one more question. Okay. The, there is uh, another question. Uh, com in comparison with the conventional uh, photovoltaic cells, what are the power expected at the same surface area? Same surface area. Oh, same surface area. Okay, uh, photovoltaic uh, 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 cases around the 35%. But we attach the uh, photovoltaic on the edge side, there is around the uh, 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 a ten percent, so around the three percent, three times difference. So, but the uh, uh, four voltage cases not the transparent. Even uh, recently, they uh, proposed the uh, 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 semi-transparent of four voltage material, but power conversion uh, efficiency is very low. So we, well, for example, transparent four uh, voltage material. What transparent with LLC? Which one is better? A commercial, okay? So, uh, well, our case, LLCs can apply to any other uh, place, even sound uh, uh, barrier uh, uh, walls, also a uh, parking lot, even a uh, uh, green um, building, a uh, greenhouse for agriculture. Huge area we can apply, but four voltage is limited. That there is a we, our proposal is uh, uh, much better. Yeah, cost effective. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. they are complementary. So. Well, this uh, we uh, pro, uh, proposal uh, we work with the uh, professor uh, Ratesha Torres before, and we will continue this work with the UR group, Alfredo group, and Isaias group in futures. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, could you please uh, share the recogn recognize, please? Uh, yes. Maybe if, if the professor can stop sharing so I can share. And I think the Dr. Leticia Torres would like to say something. Yeah. I, I'm just very, very briefly, thank you very much for this, this nice talk. I appreciate all your effort. Uh, and I would like to say, Thank you, thank you very much. I enjoy a lot this uh, talk. Hopefully, uh, we would like to to see you here in Mexico. All of you, all of you, uh, please, you are very welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I want to see you again uh, very soon. Thank you. And also, uh, I congratulate the good conference in Chihuahua. I hope it's a wonderful conference. Thank you. So I should go home and sleep. Thank you. Okay. Well, the organizers of the first interinstitutional week of chemical and material science, uh, thank you for the, this interesting plenary lecture. And we have the pleasure to give you this recognition. Professor Su Wun Lin and your team, uh, thank you for this entitled, uh, lecture entitled Transparent Luminescent Solar Concentrators for Future Green Arch Architecture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very you much. And your team. Yeah, we took a photo. Yeah, thank you. Okay. 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 Bye. Yeah. See you. <laughs>